and we're back to another episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and today is another day in the summer. Getting a lot of sun, which is fine. I, we got some rain in the beginning of the season, which many would argue is a bit abnormal. I think it's actually normal, but I'm a weirdo. Alright, and we got some blue bars. Blue what? Blue bars! I've never heard of blue bars. Blue bars! Yeah, we got blue bars, bud. That's some delicious blue bars. <laughs> um, I came over here for something, and I totally am zoning out. We need coal, and then we need... And we will do it like so. The whole point here is that we can get more of this going. We got another honey, nice. That we can sell or give. Um, we're, well, we might give this to Pam, not Pam, uh, the other lady. The lady that owns the uh, cattle place, because we need to just be mild friends with her. We don't have to like become butt buddies or anything like that, but we're lovers. Um, we do need to, however, get some points on her good side here, and there, there's a reason for that. It'll be explained. Once we walk in there, because you'll see what we'll be looking for in a moment. It's actually a quest thing. It's quest related. Alright, and then there's one more plant. Perfect! I think we, we watered everything. Flawless watering, excluding the hop plants, because I just don't care right now. I really don't care about the hot plants. We, we've done enough for them. We'll sell the pine tar, give her the honey. She's probably not out there right now either. So one of the things we'll need to do... One of the things we're going to need to do... We need to process our one geode. Uh, and we'll process the geode, see if, uh, probably nothing good. Or at least nothing new. And then we'll, we'll start giving out a few gifts here. We'll give this really high quality sweet pea to our, our love interest. Maybe. Maybe get that started, that friendship started. Would be nice. We don't have to. We don't have to do that. But it's it's probably a good idea if we start at least with a one nice idea. I don't know. Man, well, let's not give her anything right now. We'll, we'll wait on that. Like I said, we'll wait till fall slash winter to start doing that. But we should start getting our friendship with the... With Num Nuts going. I call her Num Nuts because... She has weird hours. Like, she, it says she's supposed to be there, and I open the door, and she's not there. So I start getting pissed off. I'm like, where the fuck are you, man? I thought you had a job. You're not doing your job. I should go around town yelling, you suck at your job, you stupid idiot. You're supposed to be behind that counter selling me fucking check-ins, man. <coughs> but I'm usually too nice. <laughs> too, too, a little too reserved. The fuck am I saying? The RPG guy. I just scream at the top of my lungs about how stupid she is. Yeah, see, she's not out here. And there's the underwear we need to actually get a, a handle on. The gro we need to grope. I mean, get a get a handle on. Hand on. You can actually see it. There's a Sega Genesis back there, and uh, another character has got a Super Nintendo. I'll show it to you when we get there. But uh, it's actually. Uh, gonna be the lady we court she has a super nintendo in her room and i just was like oh that's sweet let's play final fantasy 4 i want to watch you play final fantasy 4 while i strip naked and dance around you doing the tiki tiki sala dance it's gonna be hot let's do it oh there she is all right um here's some honey for marnie is her name uh, <laughs> I love animals, Mr. Asshole. Why, I do too. 
but I usually don't love them in a way where I put them near a cliffside and whip out my wiener. You've been a very bad boy. Alright, let's <laughs> sell off the sweet pea. We'll hold on to the coal, because we'll probably pick some up in the dungeon. Rather than go all the way over to the uh, crate. I know that the silver, the, the iron bar is done. I, don't, I just don't care. Because let's try to knock out another five floors. Quickly and with great uh, reward, hopefully. Because the sooner we get to the bottom of this floor, the sooner we don't really have to dick around with this. Not that we don't need to dick around with it, mind you, but we need to... We'll end up needing to fulfill other farm things um, in order to rebuild the community center, which will allow us access to other places in Stardew Valley. So it's kind of a mixed... Oh, shit. It's kind of a mixed bag. Food. We're gonna eat that monster's body. But see, you gotta do it right, guys. You gotta eat that monster's body in front of its, in front of others of its kind. Let it see you eat its corpse. That way, it will fear you out of the upright fear of being eaten alive. That's right. We're not gonna cook that fucker. We're gonna eat him raw. That'll teach that song, bitch, a lesson. Don't mess with Farmer McAsshole. Actually, I'm getting ended myself based on standing where I'm standing. Whoa, look out! Woo! Got a Dwarf Scroll 3, not that we need it. So we'll throw that away if we need space. I don't think it'll come to that. And we're gonna keep that purple mushroom because it's one of four mushrooms we need for the elixir. Which is nice when you need to do a big delve. I'd rather throw the straw away or whatever. Because at this point, unless we're getting iron ore, we don't really need gold at this point. We've got a ton of it. I mean, if, if you know, so it's kind of not counterintuitive. I mean, it's always good to have ore sitting around for whatever you need for something. But there is going to be a time and a, po a point here in which we don't really, we're not going to really need it. And you're going to, the first thing that's going to rumble through your brain is, well, why do I keep, well, then I shouldn't dig any of it up and not waste my time with it. And that's not entirely true. There's going to be structures and, and crafting things that you're going to need those bars of it for, you, you know. And yeah, we, saw, we see a couple of things that we can use it for now, early on. But later, when, as you level up, you'll be getting more uh, blueprints to build other things. Hence why you don't want to just put all your eggs in one basket. Also, hence why it's worth backtracking to older floors in order to find ores you don't currently have. If you need those said ores. Again, you have to need them first. To the next floor we go. Since we have two stairways. Amethyst. This should be a new floor. Check the north side first. Again, killing the enemies to see if one reveals a stair uh, ladder some shit, but we definitely are going to explore this whole floor because we know that there's going to be coal. Nope. Let's get the coal. We'll come back to that dude if we need to. I can't eat that crab. No, you can't eat that crab. But I won't eat that crab. And we'll eat it raw. It's gonna be like sushi. Like crab. 
crab stick. This is bullshit, man. This game is... is his. I was gonna say something fucked up. <laughs> Not really, but... In insensitive, but with, I'll restrain myself after I take a big dump. And then I'll just scream it out loud so all my neighbors can hear me making fun of it. Great. I should record it. Well, there's a way down. I'll take us to possibly the final floor or something. I'm not sure. Let's, uh. I forget if it's 110 or 120 floors. <clears throat> but we're probably going to leave, or at least maybe go one more floor, see if there's any good items right in front of us. But I think this might be the last floor. Nope. Nope. Not even close. Space boots. It's like Space Coast Coast to Coast. Oh, there's an upgrade. Finally. Hey, there's somebody there trying to, uh, you know, get out of the wall. <laughs> you stuck in that wall there, buddy? Uh, sorry to hear that. Well, you know, as they say, stop hanging around. Yeah, stuck. Probably shouldn't be wasting time with this. The risk is too high. I'm looking for, like, barrels and crates, but I don't really see any, so... Get out of here. Oh, what? Uh, fuck that. Well, if we go right now, we can go to the Adventurer's Guild and just get rid of it. Amethyst and gold. We'll just leave. Rather live than, like a jackass, end our adventure and lose all the goods. We've got one. Just the one? I thought we got... Well, never mind. Whatever. I thought we had a different thing, but I guess we didn't. New achievement, cowpoke, 50k, whatever that is. Is that because, like, we're worth that much, or... Oh, yeah, total earnings. All right. Yippee. Let's go, you know, because we have a little bit of time. Let's go by the city hall. And see what non-growing and forging things we need. Because right now, it's like, I'm not sure what we need off the top of my head. And I don't know if we need the mushroom for anything else. But it wouldn't hurt to... It wouldn't hurt to go look. The other thing, too, is if we break 12 grand, we'll probably build the coop first. And then when the coop is done, we will build the silo. And we'll, we'll also add some grass starters as well. Um, let those grass starters fill up and fill that coop for the fall, I think, is what I'm going to aim to do. Let's see. What do we got here? So we need the nautilus shell, red cabbage, which we don't have, and the duck feather. Maki roll. Truffle... A fried egg, we gotta make that. Gotta make these two things here. The truffle is gonna be tricky. We need hay and apples, that's not gonna happen for a little bit longer. And the wine, okay. And then that's all money. Okay, so, and we're not dealing with fish right now. And so, like I said, we're trying to get the farm kinda going in the first year. By the end of the second year, I can usually knock out the rest of the con the civic center, this community center, outside of maybe the money aspect. No, I can usually knock that out too. Um, usually the f okay, it's the fishing. I usually have trouble with some of the fishing, or I struggle with the cooking part. But I think we're gonna be good on the cooking part. We just need to get the house expanded. That's something we can look into once the fall starts. And everything's planned. That's where money's going to be going, first and foremost. It's going to be put towards that. Um, for sure. So, we'll have that going. And in the grand scheme of things, that's going to be real. That, that layer's going to be real nice. 
Let's drop off this garbage. And then I need... You know what? We'll make one of each. Why not? We don't need... Oh, that's... Wow. Ah, what the hell? That goes in there. Shrooms go in a different box. Okay. I didn't see something for the shrooms. We've already gotten Dwarf Scroll. I don't... Again... I don't know what kind of use you can get out of them once you've kind of got it going. Once you've sent them in, I don't know what artifacts will do for us, so I usually sell them. And I'm sure I'm going to get cringes for doing that. Some of you guys, I'm sure, know way more about this game than I do. But it is something that I just don't feel is important or relevant. Alright, and oh, there we go. Oh, and the watering can. Where are you? There you are. So another day is passed. We can also, in a sense, oh, transmutate things to gold, like I would want to do that. You know what we should do, really, is look at building that damn coop. I think it's rock, stone, and something else. Gold, I think. Well, I know it's gold. Clear sunny day. We're gonna start doing that actually. We're gonna we're gonna start that process. I think it's for the greater good. The other thing too is we're hoping that we can finish the corn requirement this year. We need one gold piece of corn. And we got it. All right, there's our corn. So we can turn that in on our way up to meet Robin after we handle a few other things. Um, like watering. We're still going to water this stuff. To conserve our coal, I'm only going to I'm only going to do two metal items a day, one in the morning and one in the evening to help conserve the, oh shit. To help conserve our coal, because eventually we're going to have to start smelting only the bars we need. Not necessarily as we need them. We'll be able to plan a little bit ahead, but we don't want to get into a position where we don't have coal. Because <clears throat> you can't just go to any <coughs> floor and get coal. It comes kind of on its own. On, on a whim, you're kind of getting it. So... It's just one of those things where, oh, there's enemies that drop it. Oh, there's these guys that have it. It's, it's, you run into a little bit of some issues later if you start walking around with it. All right, so that's done. So like I said, we're going to go, oh shit, we need stone. I'll know what we need when I can actually see it here for the coop. We need, I think, copper bars. Wood and stone is what I think we need for the coop. We're also going to use leftover wood to build like a fence. Um, we're going to have to fence this fucking thing in. So that'll be a thing. And as soon as soon as as soon as she's done with that, depending on how much money we have, we got to buy grass starters. For the entire uh, farm. I'm going to probably spend way more money than I need to. Because I forget how the grass starters work. But I'm going to probably fill the whole thing with grass starters. Get that going. Let it grow until the fall. And then fill it if we can get it done by then. The goal is to get it done by then. Alright, so we're going to knock out the quality crops bundle. Nice. And we get a preserves jar. Hence why I only made two. Because we get one for free. For free! Free! <laughs> oh, you guys. Alright. What the hell? Why aren't you working your shop? You bitch. 
Where is Robin? Is she out doing drugs or something? What the hell? Does she not work Tuesdays? I need to know these things, woman. I need your ass istance. Y'all? Ooh, squiggly haven over here. Squiggly. Nice. I don't want clay. Oh, there she is. Well, that means she's not working today. God damn it. You know, I get the courage to want to build something. Have you build something and then you flee from me. <laughs> you bitch. No, really. Come on. I I'm asking. You ever want to murder someone because, you know, they say, hey, I'll do this for you. Then you ask them to do it for you, want them to do it for you, and then it's just like, oh, I'm sorry, I really can't do that for you. And then you just want to stab them repeatedly in the neck until they bleed out. Oh, wait, no, that, that's just me? Okay. All right, I'll keep it to myself. I don't know what we're gonna find here for crustacean, crustaceans, or shells. Specifically, muscle like creatures. back to the farm one way or the other to off to the farm we will go to smoke a big bowl of you know what we're gonna get high off of today Now we can produce three artisan jellies at a time, which is good. Woohoo! All right. Thank you through here. How's we want to do this? I guess I'll hold on to the this by now. Now, the, here's the question. Uh, we've lost a lot of the day, and I'm just kind of annoyed that I can't get Robin to build something today. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a big negative, a big, uh, big bad idea here, and I'm just gonna waste this day. I hate the idea of wasting days, especially this early in the game, but I feel we've earned it. We earned a vacation. We've been going in, you guys earned a vacation. We've been going in that mine, like, relentlessly. I mean, we will get to the bottom of that mine easily probably by the end of the fall, if not earlier. I mean, that's how much time we spend going down there. It's almost mildly embarrassing. Um, and it's really... It is a bit grating. I, I try to imagine being a viewer, and I try to imagine being you guys, going, Wow, you spent a lot of time down there. I thought this was a farm simulation game, but you're going to spend more time down there than you do anything else. And this is true. It's going to be the nature of the game is to spend a lot of time doing the other things because the farm will eventually be, be able to take care of itself better than we're taking care of it now. So it's just, you're going to run into that aspect with this game. So, I mean, you're going to you're gonna get so ahead of the game of what you're doing, especially if you're on a second playthrough, that you'll know how to kind of go forward and handle stuff. Like, I'm reluctant right at this moment. I am reluctant to go and... I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, fuck it. I'm reluctant. Oh, the... There was something I was I was going to say, and I totally just fucking zoned out. I was going to say it, and then I was like, oh shit, I fucked up that tile, and now I forgot. Oh, damn it, Napa! There we go. Pull that bad boy up. 
So, anywho, let us... Alright, let's actually see if we can get this done today. The other, here's the other deal, too. If she's not out there, you know, offering her services, service services, the thought of murdering her in her sleep is probably not a bad idea. But no, jokes aside, you know what I'm going to do? We'll go see if the merchant's there. We can blow a few bucks on that. We should also get a harvest of blueberries prior, I think, to the end of the year. Um, we need about eight grand, maybe. Six grand is fine. Eight grand is best to get our, our farm started for next season. Because I think the corn will survive. And then we'll, that'll be our corn stash. We don't need to grow more corn unless we want something constantly recycling uh, profit for us. So there's some aspects and thought that goes into it. Oh, God damn it, he isn't here today. Son of a bitch! Let's go see if Robin's working today. Because if she's not ripping each of each of her fingernails out one by one, let's see her cut up some wood with that. Was that a little too dark? Um, she's never there! Like, whenever I need a service, she's never fucking there. What the fuck's wrong with you, lady? I thought you were trying to run a business! A business! I'm just kidding, guys. I'm a terrible human being, and I... And you know it, I know it, we all know it. We're all terrible in our own way. No, no, it's just me? Oh. Oh, great. I'm glad to be terrible. Because if I wasn't terrible... It'd be hell to pay. I was actually doing, talking to a friend of mine the other day about redoing the entire Shining Force LP. All of the Shining Force games, because they're very old. The audio quality is pretty crappy, the video quality is pretty crappy. I might go back and do that at some point. There she is. Um, construct farm buildings. Or we can upgrade the house. Okay, so the coop is there. The barn. Eh. And we do have the clay. I know we have the clay. So let's build a coop if we can. And usually with... Oh, you've got to be shitting me. We're going to end up putting the coop like down here. Or even, we could put it even like, uh, maybe right here. Okay, so we gotta go, oh god damn, we gotta go back to the farm because we gotta clear out the space for that and the silo of all play things, which is annoying in its own respect. And here's what begs the question, maybe I should build the silo first? Because the silo is gonna store our hay. I said, hey, 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 yeah. No, it, jokes aside, it's going to store our hay bundles, which we need to feed animals that we put into the barn and coop. This is a big deal. Ooh, there's a new shroom. We'll keep the moral. We'll sell off the common shrooms. We'll keep the regular red mushrooms. I might eventually sell off the lower quality ones. Anywho, but we need to create a spot to put this coop. Um, the other easy way to kind of to figure out where you want to put it, I'll show you in a minute, <coughs> is to actually let's see how I have it. Let me is to actually have it par have the coop and the barn, not the barn, but the coop, either start way up here and then have it come down, which I usually don't do, or have the entrance to it about at this area. So, what that means, we need to cut this back here. And I want to cut some of this down, but not all of it. And I'm cutting too much. That's fine. We got to put grass starters in anyway. So, we're going to cut that area out, and I'm going to cut pretty much up this way here. Not using the scythe to do it, but that's okay. This should give us enough room for the coop and a silo. And you'll see how we set this up. It's not the best setup in the world, but it suits my purpose just fine. And we're going to build two silos over the course of several times, but uh, buildings. But we'll take the ten clay. So we have everything we need to build the two structures. The coop will be the first one I build. Because after the coop is being, while the coop's being built even, 
we will start placing the fence. Or at least preparing enough materials to, in turn, make the fence. It's not out of our price range. What was it? Four grand, I think, to build the coop? That's that's nothing. That'll put us at eight grand. And we won't do any more spending outside of building a silo, which wasn't that expensive anyway. So, let's see. Yeah, we'll build the coop. We'll bust the nut? No, we'll build the coop. All right, and then... I want to build it, let's say... Here? Do I want to build it here? I'm reluctant. I want to, I'm going to build it a little lower than I said, guys. And a little further this way, I think. Which will work. Now, she's only going to be able to build one building at a time. Yeah, and here's all the stuff she just sells, which... Floor TV? Widescreen TV? But, and it'll take her a few days to build that, so I don't know why I'm carrying around the other ingredients with it. We can put that back in the storage for now. The other thing is I'm going to spend the rest of our day here getting more wood. That's going to be... Look, we burnt through a quarter of our wood practically building the coop. We're going to burn through more wood building um, all this other crap that we've got to build. So in and itself, this becomes problematic. And you'll see what I mean as we start building here. Um, I know it sounds very vague right now, but it'll make sense as we do it here. Um, let us... That's a gate. We'll need one gate. We'll start with that, because we're probably going to need more. I'm going to build the fence out to... Nah. Let's cut this back a little bit more. There we go. I want to make it bigger. There we go. Don't worry, I know I overshot what I want to do initially, but it'll be fine. This is actually bigger than it needs to be, but I'd rather it be a little bigger than way too small. Because then it's kind of embarrassing. Dude, your fence blows, bro. Way too small, bro. I don't want it to look weird either. There's easy ways to make it look all screwed up. We still got a little fence left. But what we are going to do is get our axe and chop out a chunk of it so we can put the fence in. Um, axe. We'll probably do it right about here. If it'll let us. Okay, that looks stupid. No, you fucker. There we go. And there it is. That is the foundation of our of our uh, farm. And I want to do one other thing. I know that looked weird doing that, but it's not like I'm not going to put grass starters in here anyway. Putting a little bit of a walkway, and this is just going to be something I do for aesthetics. Uh, what does it cost? One wood? Ooh. Just helping me set that up. It's not perfect. Actually, we'll do a little bit more. Oh. And then we'll do right here. Oh, 
There we go. Good enough for right now. All right, so we'll... If the store's closed, but tomorrow we'll get Robin to... Well, we'll go and get some grass starters here. And, and whatnot. Let's, uh... Over here. Should clear out some of the stone. But a lot of it's just going to come back, I think, when the season starts again. The next season starts, so... Reluctant to do that. So the idea here is I'm burning energy to pick up sap. Which will help us when the new season kicks in. Yeah, I am going to clear out this stone, actually. Because we can do it in one hit anyway. Um... And when she, like I said, once once she builds the uh, the the coop, we're gonna have her build one silo. From there, we're gonna see exactly how much money we have. I hope I watered the plants. I think I did. We'll go look over there in a minute. If we um are kind of low on money after this first silo is built. We will build a second silo right away. And the reason we would do this... Why why would you do it? You already got a silo. Is because I have a strict one silo per building policy. And I'm willing to sometimes even go beyond that. Um, per animal building policy. It's usually what I have going on. Um, yeah, we're good. Alright, I don't know why I was thinking I really needed to worry about that. Is this... It looks like it's got water. It must, though. It looks... It's a different color, so yeah. Um, and again, guys, this will make more sense as we do it, but the reason I build that second silo right away has a lot to do with... Um, by the time we build this... By the time we get this, the barn built, we're going to need to have a huge stockpile of food for the for the animals. Which means filling up the silos. Um, the grass starters and all of that stuff is good during the off season, during the main part of the year where winter isn't there. The animals will go outside and feed. The only time you gotta actually go into the buildings and feed them is when it's snowing or raining. Okay. And any other time they'll come out on their own and use the grass inside their pens to feed off of, which is what I'd rather do because then I don't have to sit there and fucking baby them. Uh, but the thing is, is that. If you have a barn and you get, you're probably not going to be able to get grass in there and actually fully build the perfect little setup, the little hovel for them. So I tend to, um, not hovel, but you know what I mean. I tend to change up my pattern of what I do based on the needs of the animals. Don't worry, it'll make, I know it sounds stupid as shit, it'll make sense when we get there. That doesn't make sense at all. All right, so that's going to end this day. So maybe not tomorrow, but the day after we'll go back into the mine again, is what I'm thinking. We'll do one more non-mining day. Non-mining day! Because it'll take her a couple days to build this fucking coop. We're also, during the winter, based on how much money we have, we are going to do a lot of other stuff as well with our money. So, let's see. We've got this fucking thing. Got some more delicious beans. Let us store that. And that. No, we'll sell that. Um, we need our watering thingy. Um, store wood here. Store the axe. So we've got sunflowers to sell. Now, what I am going to do is I have no interest whatsoever in heart planting anything else. Nothing will most likely grow that's worth a damn in the downtime here. So for me, we are in a really good position here to... to not in a position that's worth a damn, but we're going to be finishing this season out for the most part. Just watering up here and down here, because we still have this one thing that hasn't grown yet. Oops. 
that's that's what we're waiting for. These sunflowers are not going to grow for shit. Keep their seeds, but we'll sell the flowers and the resin unless somebody wants it. Rubbing it with a the darn thing with a hot pepper. We'll accept this quest because we're going to get one more harvest of uh, red pepper, so. Keep the resin, I think. We can give that as a gift. You know what? We have a lot of energy. I might just actually go into the dungeon again. I know that I said I wasn't going to, but I have changed in my mind. We need to also get that geo process. Let's see what she says. She says nothing. Nothing of value or use to me at all. We'll get that to George when we... See if we can run. The reason I'm keeping the pine, the oak resin, is, is if we run into Marley, we Mer, Mer, Merley or whatever, Burley, we will be able to pass it off. Okay, I'm gonna just share this with you guys. I ripped one of the stinkiest farts in recent history. It's like bad. It's like something crawled up my butthole and fucking died. And it's lingering. It's not like a fart that's just there and you're like, oh, that's not delightful at all. It's like oh, horridly, like still around. I think we just turned that in. I'm an asshole. We're going to need um, the heater, but we won't need to buy anything else for the coop once it's done. What? Well, fuck you, bitch. Okay, so we'll just give her jelly and uh, honey. So apparently, she's um, racist against uh, resins. You don't, you don't think you'll need pine resin? Well, fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna rub it all. Over, I'm gonna rub it across all the Stardew Valley hookers from here to Timbuktu. What a bitch. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying, guys? Holy fucking shit. I wonder if the merchant's around. See, I'm thinking of other things to do than go to the mine. Does that make me a bad person? Yes, it does. Oh, well, okay. Bad is good. I'm gonna turn in this free hay. It's not free, we paid for it, but it's kind of free in the sense that I didn't have to build the silo. And that way we don't burn any of that for, the, for that. It's either here or on the bulletin board. It's the bulletin board. God damn it. We're going to burn through like eight grand when fall comes, I think. Then again, we might not because we burnt through some of that money. Yeah. Oh, you whore. Uh, I need ten bundles of hay. Ten! And me being a chief skate, I bought fucking five. Well, let's go see her first, because she'll probably walk away from the counter, and then I'll be pissed off again. Hey, 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 sweetie, where are you going? Here, 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 play. Here, tickle my berries. Well, if you don't like ting tickling my berries, then bring me that ass. Oh, you guys don't get it. When we start courting, ladies, it's going to be fun. <laughs> You're you're wondering where my humor this playthrough is. It's there. It's subtle because a game this game doesn't give me a lot to work with, humor wise, because it's just kind of doing the same shit every day. You can only make fun about diving in somebody some some babe's dungeon way too many times, but we're getting there. Shut up, bitch. Sell me that hay. And then we we can't purchase an animal yet. We're gonna be doing that too in the fall once. Once everything's going on the farm. I want to see if the merchant's here. I'm willing to spend about two grand. He's got something I want. We're going to buy it. I don't remember if he's here today. It might be a Friday-Saturday thing. Yeah. I think it's Friday and Saturday. Or Friday and Sunday is when he's here. Because I am going to knock some free shit out to do that. So here's the, here's the goal as far as Robin's concerned in the construction. The coop? 
then a silo. A second silo, then a barn. We're going to fill those things up with stock, livestock and, uh, you know, and all the other hubbity bub um, heaters, the tools we need to harvest from those animals, and so on. You heard me harvest the animals. We're going to start a butchery, baby. Carving up that meat. And from there, we're not done yet. There, I might pass on the barn upgrade for, you know, to go with one slightly different upgrade. And that slightly different upgrade is going to be good. A slightly different upgrade is going to be the, um, upgrade the house. Make it bigger. Um, and the reason why is we'll get access to a kitchen and we can make the maki roll. We'll have the coop so we can make the fried egg. And that knocks two more things out. All we'll need is a duck feather. And the duck feather is going to be a little harder to get. You need a, an upgraded coop, in even, I believe, in order to even do the duck part. So it's, that's another investment, but I'm not worried about that right now. Another thing we already got, you useless bastard. And like I said, I'm kind of hesitant, reluctant to go into the mine right now. Because, yeah, we have a lot of energy, but it's already 2 in the afternoon trying to get shit done. Ooh. Let's do... Our last salmon berry. And we'll do our spice berries, because spice berries sound weird. In the right ways, of course, but you get the idea. This actually went pretty quick. Well, it went quick because we're dicking around doing other stuff. We'll hold on to the honey because that'll be a change out for... What's her name for later? We'll sell the salmon berry stuff. We'll keep that. Ah, shit. You know what I didn't do? We didn't take the hay. We're going to turn the hay in right now. Oh, but yeah, at least this episode will finish more closer in time. I try to make these episodes about 45 minutes. When you play Arv, and, they, and I've actually gotten a question from somebody, why are my episodes so long um, compared to other Let's Players? I, number one, I don't think they're that long. They're maybe 15 minutes longer than the average LP. But here's the deal. In RPG games, or even these types of games that have RPG elements, they're very long games, and there's a lot of downtime of you traveling, and yeah, I could cut that stuff out, but I think I try to keep as much gameplay stuff, even the traveling and walking around in there as possible. Um, the only time I usually don't show things are random encounters outside of, you know, the first time we encounter an enemy. I usually show those fights, so you get a, the gist of what to expect in the in those fights. Um, and how you get to see how I handle them and stuff like that. So, it's just a personal preference. I think that to me is the waste of time because I could go grinding or something. This game, there's not a lot of grinding per se, so I tend to not quote unquote grind in this game. I tend to do other things. So there's not much of a reason not to show things to you. Me not showing you something might be construed as being lazy is really what it comes down to. All right, so this is going to end our day just kind of eager to get to the next season for what it's worth and i want to thank you guys for stopping by i am your host the rpg guy when we come back we're, we're getting close my estimate was way off we're gonna need another episode or two to maybe one more episode to get to or two yeah i'm sticking with two episodes before we get to um the fall but we are gonna get there so just hang tight stick with us i know we're several episodes in like 16 episodes in and we still haven't gotten through one year yet but what'll be great is if i do start cutting stuff out it's going to be the fishing monotony um i'll leave a lot of it in as much in as possible but it, the monotony of the fishing will be in there i'm also going to start another lp um probably alongside this one once we get past the first to second year 
once we get in maybe halfway to through the second year or even get married, that's a, or when we finish the community center. One of the two things. Probably the community center is a good place to really stop. So not stop the LP, but start up a second one alongside this one. And then do this one at slower, l lower increments. But this is all stuff that's way in the future. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I'm your host, the RPG Guy. When we come back, more Stardew Valley. We'll see you guys then. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please take a moment to check out more episodes from the RPG Guy, Tuesday Night Team Up, and more. And please subscribe. Always support the channels you enjoy watching. And while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Keep on gaming hard. See you next time.